I never really read them anymore. I just eat them. That's fair. In today's video, we are making giant candy hearts. At least for me, Valentine's Day, a staple was these little antacids with love you written on them, something like that. The main ingredient seems to be chalk, but <laughs> according to the lists, it's sugar. They have a little bit of flavor sometimes, and they used to have sayings that were like, I don't know how they used to be written on. Now mm -hmm. it seems they've upgraded to dot matrix printer of to course, print all these things. Of course, a dot matrix. Well, like, if you look at these, you can see that the letters are made up of individual spots, and they've updated their sayings. For mm -hmm. instance, this one says goat, like greatest of all time goat. Sometimes you might have a message to deliver that you need more space mm -hmm. than can fit on even these larger size hearts. We've decided that we have messages that we need to send to people. And they need to be bigger. So we're gonna make some bigger hearts for some bigger messages. And to do that, we're going to use a recipe we used when we made the giant candy dots, which mm -hmm. is egg white, powdered sugar. Little bit of cream of tartar. And then some flavor and color. Here's the basic idea. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and we wanted to try and make some Valentine's Day candy of our own. They might have a little bit of a different twist, however. So we've got a lot of eggs, mm -hmm. we've got a lot of powdered sugar, we've got some mixers, all the other ingredients should be good to go. Perfect. So I think, if I remember correctly, it's three cups of powdered sugar to one egg white. So I just need to know how many cups of powdered sugar is in a bag of powdered sugar. I could just look at the measurements, but I'm not gonna to be an egg. <laughs> Kelly, you're a baker. Yeah, so it's it's basically nine. It's three eggs per bag. All right, we'll give that a shot and see if it works out. Grace, do you want to try and split an egg from egg white and yolk? Oh yeah, I'm good at that. We're slowly baby steps. We're we're teaching Grace how to cook. We need what the was egg your plan? <laughs> okay. We no, need we need no, the egg white in you, our bowls. You you get no you you're done that was that was no what are you doing we need no. the egg white <laughs> no not the yolk you, you're done you're done I did the opposite. <laughs> well done no we might actually want to make it thicker Yep, that's correct. When you test meringue, what you want is you want to be able to flip the batter upside down and have it hold the peak. So this is actually a little thin. That's looking perfect. I go with the neon ones first, if there's enough of those. Yeah. Our color is super close. I would prefer to not add flavoring, but I'm gonna, cause I'm supposed to. I'm gonna be doing yellow. And while I think the ones that come in the packaging are actually banana flavored, I don't like banana flavored things. So I'm doing lemon flavored. So like I discussed last time we did this, it's a pipe. You need to fill the bag and you wanna try and get as few air bubbles in it as possible. The easiest way to do this is to cut the tip of your bag so that there's an airflow and then suspend it in a cup. It just holds it up for you while you're trying to spoon whatever it is you've got, whether it's frosting or cake or anything like that, cookies. Just putting it in a cup makes it hold its shape a little bit better so you're not like fighting the bag as you're filling it. Drop it from a little bit of a distance. Just helps get rid of those air bubbles. I'm to piping stage, so we're gonna go ahead and start. See, air bubbles causing problems. All right, I'm going to take the rest of my pink and put it in this. Because this doesn't have an airflow around it, I don't want this heart to be very thick because I'd worry that it would just not take. 
You can use what little left of the yellow there is Perfect. as well. Perfect. We'll mix them. Have a either a swirly or an orange. I think you're very right. I think it's going to have a hard time drying. And so it being really thin is going to be kind of its only hope to actually get there. Oh, you're getting yours very smooth. I'm trying. Perfect. All right, so mine's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put it somewhere where it can just harden over about a week. And then we'll come back and take a look at them. Sounds dried. Sounds dried. Yes, I think these are dried. All good. What is the plan to get that one out of the tray? That? <laughs> that worked pretty well. Yeah, Not shockingly. Perfect, but pretty just well. Leave that on the floor. Oh, good. Ooh, that raspberry scent yeah. is just. Oh my goodness, it's so strong. Me hard. I wanna, it's I also break strawberry, off. but you know. Didn't I buy raspberry? I use strawberry. Oh. We have lots of big candy hearts now. I'm curious how well I can separate mine. Oh. Well, I'm gonna have a sort of broken heart motif with mine here. It's okay, you have a second one. I do, I do, I do. Here, I'm just gonna push that back together. I bet your recipe was just better. I bet I didn't like mix mine long enough or something because like this feels so light and dried out. Interesting. Remember we had that same problem when we made the candy dots too. We don't have a perfectly consistent recipe, but yeah, yours is a little soft a little on the bit. back still. But the fact that this is dry, like the surface that was in contact with the metal feels completely dried out. It is a lot thinner though. That's okay. We're gonna so make this work. So these are edible color markers. Like they use food coloring as the ink. Callie's just going directly for it. Has no flavor. <laughs> okay, mine's done. Ta-da! Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I really get the message that you're sending. <laughs> is that, is that Fantastic. Depending on how close I am to it, of course. Yes. Uh, well, mine does not want to release from the cloth. Uh, but wow, you got... You know, sometimes, sometimes one candy heart, even this size isn't enough uh, to send the full message. Mm -hmm. Send the whole box, I think, to get a full appropriate letter in to really convey all the feelings that you're trying to. The fact that the heart actually broke a little bit, I think, mm -hmm. uh, works quite well for the message being sent. Grace is currently decorating our pan heart. It's not you, it's me, is how you ended your letter. No, it's continued on next candy. Oh, I see, I see. We're gonna have to make another candy heart. Wow, yours is lemony. Lemon, lemon. I kinda wanna keep mine. Yours is holding together, you should keep it. Guys, we really like making big candy in the studio. It's a lot of fun. Do you have any other ideas of things you want to see us make in the studio? Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more fun things like this to see. If you want to see our most recent video, click that box up there, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.